And to more breaking news, a young man has been charged with murder, accused of stabbing a teenage boy to death. The horrific attack happened on board a bus in Surrey. And a warning, some may find the details disturbing. CTV's Angela Jung is live at RCMP headquarters in Surrey. Angela, what do we know about the suspect so far? The suspect is 20 years old and police say he is known to them. He appeared briefly in court today via video. All he said was okay when responding back to a judge. I did speak to the victim's mother who says she's relieved that somebody has been arrested and charged. I don't understand the world anymore. Am I living in a nightmare? Her world turned upside down last Tuesday nights when her son, 17-year-old Ethan Besflug, was stabbed to death while riding the bus. On Monday, she received a call from homicide investigators saying a suspect has been caught. There's never closure. I think it gives me some relief knowing that the person's not out there just living a free life that he wants. The suspect, 20-year-old Katie Mantenko. Police say Mantenko was known to them. He was arrested Sunday. These photos from Facebook are of a Burnaby man named Katie Mantenko. After all these years of being a police officer, I still struggle with the senselessness of certain crimes. This is one of those crimes. Investigators say Bez Flug knew his attacker through a third party, but didn't elaborate. We're still working to determine exactly what the nature of the relationship is between them. Uh, it's still early in the investigation and we're still speaking to as many people as possible. Uh, what I can say is we've established that there is a connection and therefore we believe this was not a random attack. They're also working to determine if other people are involved and what was the motive. As for Best Flug's family, they're hoping to see an end to all the recent string of violent attacks. Stop attacking each other online. Stop attacking each other every day in so many different ways. Stop attacking each other. Because she knows the pain of an attack turning deadly. So, Angela, you mentioned Ethan's mother really trying to find an end to this violence. So how is she raising awareness? The family is holding a candlelight vigil tomorrow night at 7 p.m. near the bus stop where the attack happened at 100th Avenue and King George Boulevard. They say they really don't want to see another family go through this. Mi Jung. Reporting live. Angela Jung reporting live from Surrey.